To the high school level, Campbell County senior running back C.J. Allen is a playmaker. His standout performance last week helped the Cougars achieve a feat for just the second time in program history and earned him our Week 4 Player of the Week. Kelly Anstitz has more. The Cougars are 4 0 for just the second time in school history. To be 4 0 is special, and we're getting to do something that's not been done around here very often. While it's a team effort on Friday nights, running the ball through CJ Allen definitely helps. He's, he's the pulse of our, of our team and our program right now, and when he's going, we're all going. His versatility makes him a lethal weapon in the Cougars' offense. He runs it well with, with authority, and, and he'll make the cut when he needs to, but he's also a, a great receiver out of the backfield as well. Described as elusive, his vision at the line of scrimmage makes him a threat. You know, I can see this hole opening before it actually does, and I can kind of like take advantage of that. Allen has carried the ball 73 times for over 400 rushing yards and seven touchdowns through just three games played. He's a really good player, works really hard, and so we expect a lot out of him, and he usually brings it every Friday. While his numbers jump off the stat sheet every week, that's not what motivates Allen in games. It's honestly just to win. I've never really been one to care about stats or anything like that. He said he models his game after Marshawn Lynch. And like his role model, he activated beast mode in their win over Mo East with 40 carries for 299 rushing yards, three touchdowns, and two catches for 24 yards and a score. And that's why CJ Allen is our Friday Frenzy Player of the Week. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations that's to CJ awesome. Allen. It's the second straight year the running back has won one of our Player of the Week awards. Fantastic. Yeah, looks great. Hey, uh, and good job by Kellyanne getting out of the yes. way. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, thanks for joining us tonight. We'll